Please don't sing to hear the news. The angels bring on Christmas night to Christmas. Hi guys, I just wanted to do the end of the year BJD tag. Uh, due to space and logistics, I can only do a few at a time, but I will include them all in this video. These are my SD sized dolls, Gwendolyn and Darian. They are in my Ronin's Passage story. And um, I caught Gwendolyn in the middle of getting ready, so she has her little flowers in her hair. She has a Railkin corset and some of her Fukubukuro lovelies. Um, and then Darian is not, still not looking quite himself just because I love him in his Fukubukuro from last year. <laughs> um, he's supposed to have black hair, he's supposed to be dark and moody, and right now he just looks like this gentleman. So anyway, but those are my two biggest dolls and I will bring my MSD collection next. Okay, I'm gonna jump right in and just show you on the screen what my different dolls are and then answer the other questions that were from Bumblebee Love's original prompt from, it was either 2013 or 2014. Uh, so I'm gonna do the original five questions. The first one, what is your doll family? And the second one was, what is the best thing that happened to you this year? And that would be, going to my first doll show, the Volks Dolpa, and meeting Anne Picaro, one of my favorite people here on YouTube, <laughs> and uh, Harriet and Flynn. Them coming into my life and just, uh, I can't even describe how amazing it is um, and how alive they are to me in the story that I've been creating. Um, I definitely say that Harriet, even though she started off as my least, I hate to say this, but my least favorite doll because I couldn't get her to talk to me, um, she, after her shell change, has become my most talkative. And that has been a huge breakthrough for me this year. Um, going into my second year of collecting, and certainly not my first year of being a fan of the hobby, <laughs> but my first year of actually tangibly having the, or second year of having these dolls tangibly. So that would be the best thing that happened to me. The worst thing that happened, I, I really don't have worst things that happened to me or anything like that. I guess I did something really stupid when I was restringing Harriet I wanted to change her hands and I didn't have the proper equipment with me because it had been a while since I had strung or restrung any doll and I totally scratched up her wrists. So that was frustrating um, and scary. <laughs> but I think if I just sand them down, they'll be all right. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, and then my three favorite things would be definitely my Fairyland Shushu uh, and the face up was done by Hallow Hawk. I love her and she is just so real to me and that's huge. Uh, I also really like the shoes that I got for her and the wig that I made for her. So <laughs> I guess it all has to do with Harriet. I also really like Flynn's face up that I did for him. So yeah. <laughs> and then my New Year's resolution is to write more of Harriet and Flynn's story. I guess I'm a little bit obsessed because that's all I'm talking about in this video. <laughs> um, I'd love to finish that and maybe even publish it. Um, so yeah, I also have some dolly plans. I'd like to maybe slim down my mini collection and focus more on the bigger dolls because they're the ones where the stories are really coming alive for me. And um, eventually I'd like to get uh, People 60 and what else? I'd like to get the art doll body for my Adelaide character. Um, from Leak World and yeah so stuff like that <laughs> anyway uh, thanks for listening to my rambly end of the year BJD tag video 
I hope that you guys do this tech too. I look forward to hearing what all of your responses are and please forgive the really bad footage that is really dark. Um, I, I didn't have very good lighting, but anyway, um, thanks for listening and for watching and I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Bye.